Hey Jono, this is Meg here. Hey Meg, what's up? I messed that up. Hey everybody, we are so excited to be kicking off VP1 with you. I am Meg. I'm Jono. And we're going to be doing Venture Project 1, which is a product innovation sprint, uh, which we are super stoked to walk through some examples with you today. So let's start it out like many of us start out our mornings, which is with some coffee. So we got here a standard coffee machine uh, made by a wonderful General Electric, and you can buy these for as little as $10, potentially messy, potentially inconsistent quality. Um, you know, make that coffee, but potentially not to the highest quality that we might get as a coffee aficionado. And in contrast, we have uh, the Nespresso machine that launched a little bit over a decade ago um, that offers Nespresso um, a tremendous amount of value, both from the um, selling of the machine as well as ongoing income and revenue from the sale of the pods. So we have a great um, example from Strategizer, who's a, a company that's responsible for the generation of the business model canvas and has some really great learning and educational platforms. Um, we've embedded this video and we'll embed this in the website. Um, and again, we always encourage you to check out Strategizer and download their free app. Um, and this walks you through a great example of how you could implement the business model canvas in your VP1 sprint. So yeah, I think over it's really good to make with um, innovating products to be also be able to um, innovate the business model. Um, yeah. Which is something that we can put in our venture projects one, venture project one, uh, which would be really awesome to see. Absolutely. Um, next, we've got a, um, a classic enamel mug, the thing that you might put your coffee in. And I have a classic, a classic enamel one. And the things that I've noticed with this is that it's really lightweight, which is great for if you want to go backpacking with it, but it's really poorly insulated. And so if you put a hot beverage in here, you might hurt, burn your hand or burn your mouth when you're drinking it. And so that's no good, but they are really inexpensive. Um, but the innovation that I particularly love is Mir's uh, Camp Cup. This is, as you can see, it looks extraordinarily similar. Um, but what they've done is just raise the level of quality on it. Um, they double wall vacuum insulated it. Um, so it's the same technology as a hydro flask and all the other um, like cool water bottle redesigns that people have been doing, but they did it with a camp cup. So this is really great for traveling with lid, keeps your beverage really hot or cold, and it doesn't burn your hands when you're using it. It's quite a bit more expensive, but that's kind of the deal with a product re-innovation. You pack that product with value and then you can gain that value from your customer. Up next, we've got a classic truck bed camper. Oh. The two examples I have here are a full custom, which is super expensive, and the truck and the camper are inseparable. You can see it's built on the flatbed mm -hmm. frame, and it's really tough to um, separate the two. Um, so that's very expensive. And then the other example is a fiberglass, which is generally pretty heavy. Uh, it doesn't have very many features, and it's low quality so that they can build it quickly mm -hmm. and at scale and sell them for relatively inexpensive. So the innovation on this product is something that kind of cuts in the middle uh, is a is the Kim, Kimbo Campers, which is really cool. It's a company right here in Bellingham um, and they've got a, an aluminum shell so it doesn't have a frame and that makes it fairly lightweight. And then there's a bunch of modular parts that you can put in and take out uh, a kitchen shower, air conditioning, wood stove, solar panel and propane all sorts of things that, that you can just pack this thing full of value. And then it's also got this awesome, uh, cool new look for kind of a new generation of people who want to uh, do overlanding or other kind of camping in this new truck bed camper. Awesome. That's super cool. Uh, so now with so many of us uh, at home much more and uh, working through time together with family, maybe we're cooking a little bit more at home. So we're gonna talk about the product innovation. Uh, this is me waiting last night uh, for my hot water to boil so that I could make dinner and uh, impatiently there. <laughs> 
And then um, I walked over to do some class prep and um, burned the container and also boiled over and made a mess of my stove. So uh, an alternative to this would have been at the beginning of the day to start out with our classic crock pot, which was born on January 23rd, 1940. Um, it's a slow cooker, so I could have started out my day, um, put everything in there, and when I was done and ready, could have uh, had a slow cooked meal. Uh, current price right around $27. Uh, another thing that I could have done to make some of the ingredients would have been to use a classic steamer, which is bulky and adding another you know accessory to the household. Uh, instead, tonight, I'm going to use my Instapot which has fast and flexible uses. I uh, can do a ton of different things in it, um, but currently priced at $80. So they're extracting a lot more value than those you know, 20-ish priced items. Uh, we put in a competitor grid for you, which talks about the different features that Instapot offers um, from sort of the boiling, the pan frying, steaming, you can make rice, um, you can slow cook or you can blend a variety of features there. So in your venture projects, we really want you to also be sure to include a competitor analysis and these competitor, competitor grids are a really quick way for you to graphically represent that to us. Another um, more profound and important uh, innovation has been uh, really spearheaded by the Gates Foundation. Um, it's estimated that more, more than 650,000 children die per year from avoidable stomach issues related to poor sanitation, and that um, over 2.5 billion people in the world are without safe sanitation. So um, super big problem uh, within the world, um, and traditional toilets and urinals there with uh, Bill Gates on top. Uh, require significant infrastructure, they're costly to install, and super difficult to implement in remote areas. Um, the Gates Foundation launched um, an innovation contest to reinvent the toilet, to uh, have an offering to remote locations at a low cost, and also one of the big things they noticed, which is one thing for you to always think about in your ventures, is that different cultures have different um, norms around how to use toilets and privacy and um, you know, what genders and ages can be together. So the Gates Foundation has had a ton of interesting learnings around this very profound project of implementing better sewage systems. So this was a quick overview from John O and I of some of the different things that you can look at uh, for product innovation. We are so stoked to have you be working on this um, in a super innovative way. You saw in here a lot of examples of physical prototypes, and we do definitely want you to be at that place. You also saw an example and an illustration of how you can use the business model canvas to track innovation, as well as um, using that competitor grid. So we'd really like to encourage you to um, use the tools at hand to really leverage the power of your innovation. Jono, do you have anything else you'd like to share? that you guys are going to innovate on and deliver even more value to the customers. So. Awesome. So, and yeah. we're here to help. Uh, super excited to be working through this um, vibrant and changing time together. Thanks so much.